when you're talking about high school advice, it's so good. Standing by the wall, but a picture of elegance riding on the stall phone number such a gentleman. Who you gonna call, baby? I've been waiting for you. We don't have to talk, we can sit still. I did go to the shoe store. I didn't vlog that because, oh no, I just forgot to. If I'm being honest, I was just gonna show you guys my shoes that I got. The shoes are for my birthday. They're part of my birthday gift. I bought these Reeboks. I really, really like the thing was they were too big. And if I would have gotten a size smaller, they would have been too small. Um, I tried on like four different pairs of shoes at the store. And these are the only ones that were really cute and that I liked and fit me well. It's just these Nikes. They're so cute. I'm probably just gonna set my desk. I'm watching Arrow right now. I'm trying to rewatch that. It's really, really nice because I haven't watched it forever and I'm definitely gonna read later but yeah I just want to give you guys a little update of what, what was going on It's been a while. I'm about to go take a bath. I am really, really tired. So it's about 5.45 now. I really wanted to show you guys my night routine tonight. I did try to vlog more of today, but I just didn't really do anything. I didn't get out of bed till 11, and I was just like doing little stuff all day or whatever. But I really want to show you guys my night routine tonight for summer before summer ends. I'm really sad. Literally, I have like a month left of summer. But yeah, I'm gonna go take a bath because I want to read really, really badly because I was trying to read all of the Hunger Games books. When I finish the first book in like two days, I'm on Catching Fire. I'm almost done with that. I really want to finish it tonight. And then I have Mockingjay, which I probably am gonna finish by Sunday. I was gonna make this part of the video kind of like its own thing, but I just wanted to not do that. I kind of wanted to put it into this video just because, I don't know, I want it to be more of a chill, kind of sit and chat with you type of thing, not just like a strictly like, oh, this is a sit down video and this is what you're getting and that's it, because I want there to be like more to this, whatever. I don't really know where I'm going with that. But I'm gonna be talking about high school advice. If you don't know, I graduated high school this past May and I'm going to be a freshman in college in the fall. Um, I've never done one of these videos 
because I really wanted to do it in the past. I never got the chance to. Um, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is bullying. It kind of actually made me really upset. I'm not going to lie. Whenever I saw that some of you guys are asking how to deal with bullying, I'm going to say right now, if somebody is bullying you, you need to go to someone, like go to like someone at your school that you can go and talk to about this that will do something. Just report bullying, report it. That's not something teenagers should go through. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about like how to deal with bullying other than just going to someone about it just because I know a lot of people even I was scared for the longest time because I got bullied really really heavily in high school but I never spoke up about it until never uh just something that I want to say like if you are going through it is you really just have to ignore it and I kind of like didn't understand this for the longest time is that you just have to ignore it because people are gonna hate on you not everybody's gonna like you there are gonna be people always trying to put you down but you just have to move on from that and I know for me it just sometimes it just became too much to ignore that you just have to tell somebody and not like in a gossipy way just because gossip just breeds more negativity and more bullying but to an adult who cares and like I don't know because bullying is such like a hard thing because that like stuff actually just affects you in such a way you just have to really learn that not everybody's gonna like you and that's okay something else that I want to talk about is how to make friends as well red flags talk about that first some red flags in a person that like you shouldn't be friends with is whenever they're surrounded by drama 24 7 i think this is something that says more about them than you is because if they're constantly surrounded by drama if they're constantly gossiping on people if they're constantly just like putting you down making fun of you degrading your feelings and just like all around like having a bad rep it is okay to leave that person it is okay to not be friends with them it's okay to pull yourself away and if they want to say something that's that says more about them than it does about you but I think that's a really big red flag to look out for if you're trying to make friends is to not hang around those people because you want to hang around people who are lifting you up who who do say like your feel your feelings are valid actually have intentions to hang around you those types of people are just people that you want to be around because whoever doesn't lift you up isn't a good friend making friends whenever you're a freshman especially and just like people in general all throughout high school like everybody wants to have a friend you know what I mean like you're never alone another thing that I do want to talk about is changing in high school how you will change in high school it is okay to change you are not going to be the same person that went into high school you're going to come out a completely different person i know i did your opinions were changed you're growing up and it's okay to move on from people who are not worth your time got a lot of questions on good habits on what good habits are to have how to be organized and etc stuff like that um number one get a planner literally your planner let it become your best friend plan out everything on there write down every single homework assignment write down even whenever you're hanging out with people when you need to go to the grocery store when you want to read when you want to watch tv your planner is going to become your best friend it is genuinely how i managed everything in my life i think everybody should get a planner make time for yourself each week to have like a little self-care night know what you can handle in a week do not overfill yourself with stuff that you just can't do another question i got was about boys i really wouldn't even think about dating until at least junior year because freshman year like Eh. and sophomore year is just like kind of that growing up is growing from like that little like kid like maturing phase i feel like freshman and sophomore year are like very mature kind of like you need to realize that you need to mature in junior year is like oh like you can drive now you can have a car you your friends are driving like most of them anyway you know what i mean and just honestly freshman sophomore year like where are you gonna go with your boyfriend or girlfriend like you know what i mean <laughs> so it's like junior year like you have a car you can go places you can drive or they can drive or whoever you can actually go places and you're more mature of that saying i don't, I don't really know how to explain this well but just like until junior year until you can drive at least in my opinion you shouldn't really think about dating because like you don't want your parents driving you around i don't think mentally you're ready to have like be in a relationship with somebody else if you don't really know who you are like
quite literally have no words guys i finished this entire book today i think i was like 100 pages in at the beginning of the day and then i just read like over 200 pages it was so good i love the hunger games movies if you don't know i think they're amazing and like the books are pretty much exactly the movie and like the books are so much better just because like, i love books but like oh my gosh it's so good so now i have the third one i'm gonna start reading pretty soon 389 pages in this i could literally read this in a day if i really wanted to it's so good <laughs> it's so good guys please if you have not read the hunger games books seriously go read them they're so freaking good